What's up, everybody? Danny O here. Today, I'm going to help you out with a bunch of tips and tricks for Breath of the Wild that even advanced users may not know. Getting started here, get ready, go. Starting with the great fairy fountains, usually you can find some fairies, but sometimes they don't spawn if you have some in your inventory. A good trick you can do is go ahead and hold all the fairies that you have in your inventory. Creep up to the fountain, you'll notice that they respawn. Press B to put the fairies back in your pouch. Feel free to run around and pick up some extras as you see fit. I, I guess I'll take some plants too. Going to a major test of strength. Shrine is a great way to find some of the best weapons in the game. You can repeat this every blood moon at each shrine. Defeating this guardian nets you some of the best weapons in the game, including one-handed, two-handed, and spears, as well as shields. If you're short on hammers, you can always head back to your house in Hateno Village, where one or two will be hanging out. Heading to the stable just east of Rito Village is a great place to stock up on some wood bundles. Very helpful for the from the ground up side quest. Take the axe, hack up the piles of wood there for a good chunk of supplies. Great way to increase the loyalty of your horse. Go ahead and tap that sprint button. And as soon as that spur comes back, immediately soothe your horse and you will get a guaranteed soothe every time. Repeat that on your way back to the stable a few times, and your horse should be maxed out on loyalty by the time you get there. You want a nice, easy weapon that's strong in the early game? Head on over to the Woodland Tower. Once you arrive there, jump out the eye of the skull and climb up to the top. There you'll find a nice two-handed Royal Claymore for you. If you're looking for a great mining route, jump over to Goron City. And feel free to pause the video anytime to take a look at these icons I've placed on the map. Jump over the Lava River to your left, and then just make your way down, picking up the mining nodes as indicated here. Also get ready for a fun Igneo Talus fight at the bottom, along with some extra mining nodes around just to top it off. A single ancient arrow shot to the eye of a guardian will take it down, netting you a profit on average with the ancient materials they drop allowing you to create even more ancient arrows or to farm for parts to upgrade your ancient set ooh bananas your house in hiteno village is a wonderful place to display your most prized possessions as i do here however Displaying a weapon such as this with an attack up modifier or any other modifier that you see here will actually remove that modifier from the weapon, so be careful. Another thing to note about the champion's weapons that you can get here that I have displayed in my house, each of the champion's towns have a spot where you can get a weapon to forge a new one should yours break. In Gerudo Town, straight to your left from the entrance up the stairs, you will find a Gerudo Scimitar. Also in the Bazaar, you will find one next to Beetle. For the shield, there's an enemy camp to the northeast of the Bazaar. Look for the Lazalfos and take his shield. In Zora's domain, under the king, you'll see this pool of water. Go ahead and use Magnesis to find yourself a Zora Spear, which will allow you to create a new light scale trident. Oh, shit, sorry. In Goron Town, or Village, or whatever, in the southeast, you will find your Cobble Crusher next to the house. And finally... In Rito Village, next to the dude that actually forges the bow for you, you will find a swallow bow. If you're in a cold environment and don't have enough gear to keep you warm, equip a flame weapon. It'll toast you up. Likewise, if you're too hot and don't have enough gear to keep you cool, 
equipping a frost weapon will chill you out. Keep a nice stock of hearty items such as radishes, truffles, and durian fruits. When you cook a single one, it actually nets you a meal that will give you a full recovery plus some extra bonus hearts. If you're looking for some dragon parts to cook with to have some nice effects on your meals, head to the stable in the Pharon Tower region and go ahead and sleep until morning. As soon as you wake up, head out the stable and go directly towards the bridge. Looking up to the waterfalls on your left, you'll... Oh, Jesus Christ, what the... Oh, that's Farosh. Okay. You will see Farosh the dragon coming up and over. Feel free to pass the time as you see fit until he gets close. <clears throat> yeah that's uh the, oh, oh shit he's getting let's go let's go okay so glide on over to him get up nice and close freeze time pull out that bow nail him right in the horn wait for that shard to pop off and jump down and go collect your reward and just run over and go pick it up Ooh, squirrels oh god no no. Ooh, nuts. All right, I'll take those. Yay. Uh, oh, yeah, the horn. Okay, so we have a shard of horn. Back at the cooking pot. Jiggle, jiggle. Go ahead and hold on to that shard and add up a bunch of mighty carp, thistles, bananas, or anything else that has mighty in the name. Make sure you have all of your items full and cook that meal get a nice triple attack up buff that lasts a whopping 30 minutes sometimes cooking a meal is okay and you can get a nice decent buff out of it such as some hearts attack up and it lasts for a little bit of time however cooking the exact same meal with a fairy will net a little bit stronger results much more hearts and it lasts a bit longer tired of climbing steep walls to get the flowers that you're looking for shoot them down with a bow well that was easy yay Remember when you're fighting tough enemies, you still have access to your Stasis Plus Rune. Very powerful mechanic in the game that allows you to take advantage of pulling out a frost weapon. So when he goes, you freeze him. And then pull out your best two-handed weapon to finish him off. Too easy. All right, guys. Those are my tips of the day to wrap it up for you. Let me know if you have anything else in mind that I can help you out with in breath of the wild until then thank you so much for watching have a great rest of your day i'll see you next time